welcome to SL Productions. In this video, I will be ranking all seven seasons of Game of Thrones from worst to best to celebrate season eight of Game of Thrones coming out next month. Please remember this is my opinion. Please put your opinion in the comments below. So you're starting this list at number seven. We do have season two, the second season of Game of Thrones, if you didn't know. So yeah, season two has some good elements. I love the Battle of Blackwater. I think that's brilliant, a brilliant sequence. Has some great character development for Fear and Greyjoy, for example. However, this season does have some bad elements as well, such as the calf storyline. I don't like that. It's pretty boring. Does anyone actually like that storyline? And also, this season seems to introduce a lot of characters too quickly, such as Stannis Baratheon and Davos, and it seems to feel like a new show. It feels like they've forgotten about season one and have just started anew, which I can see why they did. However, it just feels like, why didn't they just start at season two in the first place? That's what I was thinking when watching the season. So yes. Moving on to number 6, we do have Season 7 of Game of Thrones, the latest season of Game of Thrones. Now, there are some good shots in this season, such as Littlefinger's death, spoiler alert, and also some good sequences, such as the Luke train in Episode 4. However, this season lacks the deaths, there aren't many deaths in this series. There's only one main character who dies, there are a few minor characters as well and recurring characters, but Littlefinger is the only main character to die in this season and it just doesn't feel like Game of Thrones if there isn't a lot of character deaths. However, I do like Season 7, it does have a lot of good elements. There is an overuse of Ex Machina moments, especially in Beyond the Wall, there are two in the space of five minutes. One with the dragon and then one with Uncle Benjen saving Jon Snow. There is an overuse of Ex Machina moments, or Dos Ex Machina moments. So yes, I don't really like Season 7 for that reason. Now coming in at number 5, we do have Season 5. Now Season 5 in my opinion has some great storylines, I love the Stannis storyline and the Night's Watch storyline, however I don't like the Faceless Man storyline and Bravos, and I don't really like the Dornish storyline, which no one really likes. However Season 7 has some great moments, I mean Season 5 has some great moments, and yes I really do like Season 5 for that reason, it has some shocking deaths in this season, it has some good sequences, there's not really a battle in this series, which does let it down a bit. Yes, there is the Winterfell battle in the finale, however, it's not a full-on battle like they've had in Season 4 and Season 6 with Battle of the Bastards and the Watchers of the Wall battle. It just feels like this series doesn't have enough going on in. So yes, moving on to number 4. So coming in at number 4, we do have Season 1, the first season of Game of Thrones. Now, Season 1 does drag a lot. There is a lot of talking in this series, a lot of unnecessary scenes. However, this series forms the rest of the show. It introduces us to a lot of characters, a lot of storylines, introduces us to a prelude for the War of the Five Kings. It is a brilliant season, in my opinion, season one. Even though a lot of it does drag, the story itself is great. Hence why season one comes in at number four. Now coming in at number three, we do have season three of Game of Thrones. Now season three, in my opinion, has great character development for a lot of the characters. I really do like season three. A lot of mystery arising in the series, a lot of war, even though we don't see a lot of the war. A lot of shocks in the series, including the Red Wedding, which is great in my opinion, even though a lot of characters die. But it is shocking, which is great, even though I didn't know the Red Wedding was coming. I still really enjoyed the whole of season three. Hence why it comes in at number three. Now coming in at number two, we do have season six. Now season six, in my opinion, is brilliant. I love the final two episodes. I think they are the best two episodes of Game of Thrones. They are brilliant. Battle of the Bastards and the Winds of Winter are the best television I have probably watched. They are also episodes. The rest of the season is great. The River Run storyline is a bit boring and a bit pointless in my opinion, but it's okay. I quite like the River Run storyline. And yes, season six in my opinion has great character development and it really sets up the show for the final two seasons. Now coming in at number one, we do have season four, the fourth season of the show. Now season four has a great battle, episode nine, The Watchers of the Wall. That is an awesome battle. A lot goes on in this series, which is great. Tyrion's trial, Joffrey's murder, 
there's all the wildling stuff, there's all the white walker stuff in the north, everything is going on in this season and I think it is great. Great character development for a lot of characters and I really do like season 4 and that is why it is my favourite Game of Thrones season. So yes, that is the end of this video and until the next time, goodbye!